at Xena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. This is tiny in comparison to the last one, but I couldn't wait for the rest of the boxes to arrive, so we're gonna go with what we got. And Kelly wants to help. Come here. She's roaming around, like, just as I'm setting up, because she knows. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Are you gonna be weird? Come on. There you go. So Kelly says, hi, let's do lug. All right, so first item. I got my tram in Heather. Um, so these first three items I got from Amazon, actually. So I unboxed them as they came, or unbagged them as the case were. Um, but I definitely am super excited and love to try new things. The tram, this is my second tram, but I do love the Heather Gray. And that looks like the interior of the more recent bags that I got. So anyway, more to come on the trams, but first look, I got that. So I have two trams now. And I have two choo-choos now. I did, um, I think, mention this, that I had gotten two of them, but the second one hadn't come yet. So the other one is in Heather Gray. This one is in Botanical Black. And here we go. So definitely, oh, nice. I got a whole, like almost a full leaf. There's the desiccant in there. And if you're not familiar, you have the two pockets. You have a pocket on the outside, and a pocket on the inside. And look at the pattern inside, that's really pretty. It's black and blue, but then it has those pops of pink. And there's no pink, well, I guess kind of, like the lighter part where the purple is almost looks kind of pink. But it's nice because it kind of lightens it up, but it still matches because you have the purples in the outside. So that's interesting. Really happy with it though. And I will do in my next video a comparison, not a comparison, we're gonna talk medicine travel pill cases. Um, so more to come on that. But for now, there's the choo-choo. Choo-choo number two. Choo-choo two. Okay, and then I got bento boxes because you know I'm always looking for better ways to store things like art supplies or crafts or sewing stuff and everything really, including storing more log or vera accessories. So we will see how this ends up getting used. I have lots and lots of ideas. Um, oops, wait, what is this? Like watercolor, I think is the, it doesn't say. I think that's the name of the group mix. So you have a couple different variations. There's three sizes in here. And I really like the sizes. I think they're a great mix. Gosh, you could use that for a launch box. You could use it for so many things. I mean, it's very wipeable. It's even I would say a little bit insulated. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but super cool. So this one's the watercolor black, and then you have the purple for the middle size one, which is really cool. I really love purple's my favorite color, of course. So, but I like that they coordinate even with each other. So that's cool. And then you have the small one, which is kind of like a large pencil case. And this one is in the watercolor pearl, I think it's called. And there you go. So. These are really nifty. They all have a little handle on top. I love stuff like that. Just the conveniences for just grabbing it, walking around, or if you have limited hands. Now I can carry all the bento boxes in one hand if I was going, you know, some around the house, whatever. So super cool, really excited, and I like that they you can see inside. So more to come on bento boxes as I figure it out. But then we got a box from Lugs. So I don't know what's in here. Oh, she thinks I knocked the door. It was it was me. Come on, get up. You need up? No? Okay. She's so silly. She is really fired up this morning and barking at every little leaf that blows by outside, which is a lot because it's windy. It's windy outside. Silly doll, silly, silly doll. Ooh, okay. All right. So, we got the pretty paper. We got, okay. Oh, Ooh, okay, yeah, now I know what's in it. So we got our thank you card, our warranty card, our coloring book, and, ooh, Bloom Black, my favorite. I do already have this one, but I'm still very excited about it anyway, because, yay, it's my favorite. <laughs> I still have a lot of pens I don't have, though, so maybe there'll be some trading in my future with anybody who might be willing, we'll see. Okay, but let's take the paper out, and, got the twist in blue and black, of course. 
And I'm really excited. There's been some great videos, thank you ladies, on showing all the different ways that you can wear it and tie it and it's really infinite, the number of possibilities. Here, I'll that over there. But I'm super excited about it. So it's, oh, I think this probably needs to be, ooh, yeah, I'll have to cut that, but, because it has a, a, like a zip tie on it to try and get it out. I don't have scissors here with me, so I'll have to get back to you. But I like the material. I like that it's, you know, it's very sheer, but yet very colorful. Has a little texture to it as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is just a little, it's not just like flat, flat. It has just a little bit of subtle textures. I don't know. Maybe you can see that, but super pretty. Yay, my first twist. Probably my only one, because seriously, I have a rack of scarves and I don't even wear them <laughs> for anything. The next one is the Double Dutch in Riverwalk Navy. So as I got into the lug stuff to try and see things I liked, and every time I saw something new I liked, I would do all the research and then add it to like the next order. And this was one of those ones that, it's a good, it's a large handbag, but not huge handbag. So I thought this would be a great addition to that line of collection piece of hair. Okay. So Riverwalk Navy, we've seen this before in my collection. My very first item was Riverwalk Navy. Honestly though, I still would have bought this in a different pattern had it been available. And I don't have anything against this. I just like the other pattern so much better. Um, but let's look at this. Okay, so we got a vertical zipper, which goes all behind this side of the pocket. That's cool. And then you have the front pocket and it's this whole pocket, pretty straightforward. You have the phone pocket, which is magnetic, and of course it's the fleece lined in the blue. I just happen to have my phone in my, my shorts pocket. So I got my phone, it's a 6S Plus, and let's see, oh, that's a strong magnet. This one is narrower in width than some of the others, and just a little shorter, so when my phone is in there, it's kind of right at the top, like right at, the bottom edge of that magnet is at the top of my phone, so it doesn't reach to, to re-magnetize, so it's open, but it's secure. I mean, it's not just gonna fall out my bag. I mean, it might if I was tipping and shaking, but it's not just gonna fall out. Because it is a narrower pocket, I think it'll be good. Um, but I like the organization on the front of this bag. A lot of easy access things. You have this big slip right there, which I really like, and especially right now, when you have so many things like hand sanitizers and masks and gloves and things you might need quickly and you don't want to contaminate everything else getting in and out of it, this kind of bag is perfect for that. And then you have another zip pocket all the way across. And again, this I love, like I'm not really into built-in wallets, but I do like pen slots in my purses, which you don't get a lot of. This one has some card slots. Looks like four card slots on this side two pen slots in the middle, and a slip pocket on this side. And that is also soft line, so if you wanted your phone to be more secure, you could, of course, put that back there, and it fits very nicely in that pocket and can be zipped in. Um, or you can, you know, put your glasses in one, you know, front, maybe the glasses are the things you need more quickly or more regularly. So quick, easy in and out would be great. So let me take that out so I don't forget it's in there and zip it up. So that's the front. I, I think this is a really nicely balanced and I'm excited about giving this a try. On the end, working our way around the bag, we have this snap drink holder, which I love. It's a very simple, it's just straight material, like a packable type material, it's just the outer layer. But it's perfect because then when you're not using it, it just discreetly tucks itself away, snap it up, and you really don't even know that it's there. I think, I was gonna say, you could use it as a slip even while it's zipped for like, I don't know, if you wanted extra pen slots or something. You could do that. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's hot. And I was excited, I went outside. Okay, on the back is, oh, and there's a snap. Yeah, gotta be honest, I'm a much bigger fan of those hidden magnets versus a snap. It is a magnetic snap, so it kind of does that last little bit itself. But it's small, like not like the bigger ones that are really big. So I think this is, not bad because it's not so strong that you're gonna be pulling on your fabric all the time. We'll see. 
but I do prefer the magnets, the hidden magnets. And this goes all the way down, so it's a full back pocket. Um, essentially a slip, but just that one magnet to, or snap rather, magnet snap, to kind of keep it closed. So that's the outside. Very adjustable, nice wide strap. I think that'll be comfortable to carry. And then inside, the zipper goes all the way up onto the wings here, which is great because that means that it will open up better, and it does, that's awesome. Oh, there's another card. Anything else in here? Yep, desiccant, that's fine. Ooh, sweaty. Okay, so inside, big open purse, this whole thing, look how big the bottom is. So again, large, it's a large handbag, but it's not huge. I like the size, I think it's, it's I would say zip liner size to me. It's a little shorter and anyway. I think it's roughly the same size, just totally different organization and layout. So you have a privacy pocket in the back and it goes almost all the way down. So about an inch shy of the bottom, which is fine. That's plenty big. And it's about two thirds width. So it doesn't go all the way across. There's like a third on each, or um, anyway, you get the idea. Quarter, quarter, half, half in the middle. And then the other side is one big slip and it does have um, the fleece lining on the one side. So you could put your electronics in there, like a reader or a small tablet. My tablet is not going to fit because it's the iPad Pro 12.9 or whatever, it's the big one. It won't fit in here, but most all the others would. My original iPad would probably fit, I don't know for sure. I gave it to my aunt, so I can't tell you. But. All the standard great fittings, gunmetal, oh, it's just awesome. Really, really excited. Um, so I look forward to giving that a try, and then we'll talk more about it later, and we'll compare some like-size handbags. But that's it for this one. There is a whole lot more coming, and um, the next video will actually be a Vera video, so that's fun too. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.